Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwit Collections, and today I have a completed mini album to share with you. I've used lots of gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts, along with an adorable paper collection from Knitwit Collections. So I'll be sure to list all the information down in the description box, as well as over on my blog. So if you have any questions, then just check the description box or leave me a comment. This completed album is seven and a half by five and a half. The spine is about two and three quarters. There are six pages in this album. And this collection is called Tippy Toes. It's a little girl ballerina collection. Absolutely adorable. So on the back here, I matted a pink of pink paper along with a matte piece of one of the papers from the collection. This little flower here is from the paper collection as well. And here I did a little shaker element as you can see. So I used several layers of white cardstock along with that same pink that I used in the back and I cut this from my Cameo. I added some flat back pearl from Wild Orchid Crafts and inside I added, it's probably hard to pick up on camera, but I added some of the um, paper collection to the back and then some glitter and some sequins in both iridescent and pink and also silver as well. And I did add a little bit of pink glitter to it. So this adorable little tutu uh, ballerina dress is also from the collection. I did about four layers of that, so this is dimensional as well. I had this dance in my stash. I've had this for years. I was glad to be able to use it. And then I used these gorgeous Hellborn flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. These are absolutely stunning flowers, along with two of the open roses and some of the rose leaves in the back. I added a few of the Nouveau Crystal Drops. On the spine, I used some trim that I had in my stash, and I used quite a bit. I used five different layers of it. I really wanted this album to be very girly and very poofy. And to the center, I added some of the pearl string from Wild Orchid Crafts. For the front, back, and the spine of the album, I did spray the paper with Mod Podge Acrylic Clear Acrylic Spray. It's a sealer. So I, I did a little um, tool tie. I think tool is perfect for a little ballerina or a little dance album. Each album is a pull-out pocket where I have a, a side pull-out mat. I won't pull each one out, but they're all the same. They're all on craft cardstock, which matches with, with the base of the album. And on the front page, I did a belly band on the side, and I included several of the flowers that come in the collection, along with some of the Sweetheart Blossoms from Wild Orchid Crafts. And Wild Orchid Crafts has all different colors of Sweetheart Blossoms. These here are the white ones. They come in ivory and pink and blue, tons of colors. I thought the white looked great kind of mixed in here. I also added some of the Crystal Nouveau drops in both the green apple and white. There's some of the leaves. Some of the flowers are popped up on pop dots and others are glued directly down. So that's probably a better look at it right there. I added a little um, label from the collection. It says dance and I back that on the same pink cardstock. I love this pink stripe paper. So here's a little photo mat. I use some of the organza rose trimming, the pink from Wild Orchid Crafts. This is great for a photo on the front and back. A photo can be placed inside this as well. This front page, I used a Spellbinders, I believe it's the Labels 3 edge die to give it a little bit of a different edge. I added one of the little ballerinas. I popped her head up and then glued her body directly down and she's double layered so it gives her a little bit of dimension. Added a Sweetheart Blossom. I added a little bow here and here. I made sure to this book I wanted it to be very girly. So I added several bows throughout. I have a Sweetheart Blossom in the center of that and another little label. And I wanna show you this little ballerina up front, all of them. Look at her little pink cheeks and the shading in her, in her dress and her shoes. So cute. So this opens up this way, it's magnetized. Place for um, two photos here. These are left open so the photo can slide in. I have a little label and because it's 
closed I didn't want to add any bulk so I added um, strictly just the flowers directly down this one does have a pop dot behind it this little looks like a tulip to me behind here I added two of the hearts these come in the collection and a label that says sweet again left open so the photo can slide right behind it so when you close this it opens up this way and there's a, a little pocket another little photo mount with some flowers peeking out some flowers here and to the little pocket I added a tag that I had in my stash with the paper collection and a flower and what Knitwit Collections has that with this collection you can get separate are stamps so they're digital stamps so I wanted to add that to the pocket so who, whatever little girl gets this if she wants to color this in it's the ballerinas that match I thought it would be a cute thing to do to include that in so she can color them however she would want and add them to her album so again that's magnetized on this side I have another one of the little ballerinas with a sweetheart blossom and a photo can be placed behind her as well I have a photo mat here with some more tulle so cute I love this paper on this side I have some of the gorgeous guy pure lace from wild orchid crafts along with the white organza trimming so it's just like this but it's in white this is some of my favorite trim to use and I have a bow with a sweetheart blossom I have a little label that I backed on craft cardstock it says dance like nobody's watching with two little sparkly gems there to the pocket look at this paper super pretty I have two photo mats. I love this paper as well. And photos can be placed in the pocket. Here's another photo mat. I backed it with the pink and then the craft card stock. And then another little one of these little ballerinas. I, again, I can't get over the shading. Super cute. So I added that to the pocket. On this side, I have another little belly band with another little one of the tutus a label that I backed on pink and then craft cardstock, a little bow, and one of these flat back flower embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts. That just goes perfectly in the center of the bow. And then there's a photo mat here. Super girly album. On this side, this is actually adhered down, so a photo can just slide right under the tool here and place love the tool bow another little one of the ballerinas i added another embellishment a flower flat back flower embellishment from wild orchid crafts to her dress photo mat to the back and then on this side i used some ribbon trim that i had in my stash some of the flat back pearl trim from wild orchid crafts and the sweetheart blossoms again with a uh, belly band so there's a photo mat here I have one of the ivory um, flat back heart embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts you see me use those a lot I love those with a bow in the center and here's another one of the little digital stamps from the collection so I added that here and that um, has been printed out on a laser printer so they can use watercolors to color that in if they'd like and then this one I did a pink strip down the back On this side I have a pocket with some more of that gorgeous organza trimming, a bow, and one of the pearls in a diamond center from Wild Orchid Crafts. Another adorable little ballerina. Behind her feet I do have little pop dots behind it, and she's been doubled as well, so, and all of these is, have been sprayed with the Mod Podge acrylic sealer. Here's another photo mat, and my favorite things from all the collections is their little paint chip. It says Ballet Keeps Me on My Toes, and it has a little sample of some of the papers in the collection. Great for journaling, adding dates, or just leaving as decoration. On this side, I made a little, um, I guess, uh, belly band to where this little booklet can sit in here. And this word dance comes from the collection. I went ahead and lined it with some a pink marker and then added this little booklet. This comes in the collection as well, so I backed it on some pink cardstock and some white cardstock. Added a few of these sweetheart blossoms. It says, May you always dance to the music that is in your heart. And it has a little booklet, so more photos can be added. And again, it just fits right in there. On this side, I have a little 
diagonal pocket with more of those gorgeous sweetheart blossoms. I think it just goes so well with this paper collection. More of the organza trimming just to the top of the photo mat. On this side I have another little belly band that goes across with that same gorgeous uh, flat back trim, a little flower with a cabochon to the center of the bow, not a flower, a, a bow, excuse me. And then to that I have a large tag with one of the bows and one of the pearl centers from Wild Orchid Crafts. Photo can be placed on back and a photo can be placed on this page as well. On this side I used another tutu that comes in the collection and added that to where the photo mats can sit on the back. Another one of these sweetheart blossoms. I have a photo mat that says has a label that says happy feet and here's another digital stamp from the collection. They also have this in the collection. It's already colored for you so it's a great element to add to your book if you want. And then on this last page is a large photo mat. I have a few flowers popped up and some popped on uh, dimensional there. I love these little ballerina slippers. Love, love, love. I added a cabochon to the center. And these are not glued down. They do have pop dots behind them. So once the photo is added, the person can remove the backing of the pop dots and place them down if they want or just leave them as they are. I have some of this pleated box ribbon trim along with that flat back pearl trim and some more sweetheart blossoms. Super fun collection to work with and I think the add, the addition of the Wild Orchid Craft products is a perfect combination. So check the description box. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I hope you enjoyed today's flip through. Thanks so much for watching.